everybody. So I went to Ace Business Machines and I ended up talking to the receptionist there. Um, me and my dad went. Um, they sell typewriters and they do typewriter maintenance and they are one of the only two places left in the Milwaukee area. They get $80 an hour to service a typewriter. The only other place is Blue and Capsule. The other two joints that were around as of 2010 when this Milwaukee Magazine article came out, the guy died that worked at one of them and the other one closed. So it's down to these last two. Um, I did not get to meet Ed Skiba, but he's got, there's a YouTube piece like finding a, a niche market, uh, something like that. Here's his card anyway. Um, they sell everything there. They're still old school. They do carbon copies, you know, cash or check only business. Um, they had about 10 typewriters in the front. Uh, she, she showed me and my dad around the place a little bit since the guys weren't there working yet. And me being third shift, I couldn't stand there all day and wait for them to get there. Um, but yeah, they get $80 an hour to service things. They had the typewriters they had for sale, they weren't like, you know, old collectibles or anything. They were 50s, 60s stuff. Uh, they get about $140 a piece for the ones that they've got. Um, you know, it was it was interesting. I, I still got to see this other place, though, up by Mayfair Road is where Blue and Capsule is. So, you know, they wouldn't let me record it at Ace Business Machines, otherwise I would have recorded you guys something, but she didn't feel like that was a good thing, and, you know, and t without asking Ed and, or his son. Um, but that's all right. I got to see around the place and see in the back room, and, you know, they even had a Densmore on the shelf back there. It's something somebody brought in to get work done, so. Um, I'm just going to show you guys a few things. I got into the Antique Typewriters uh, Collectors Group and the Antique Typewriter Maintenance Group. So those are, there's two groups that you guys could join uh, through Facebook or whatever and uh, probably get for sources of, of, of information. And in sourcing information, the Vermont Country Store sells typewriters. And I, I posted this on there, but this is kind of interesting because not necessarily about their selling typewriters, but another source for ribbons. Two replacement ribbons, $16.90. They got this little story here about the da the granddaughter who wished for a typewriter for her birthday, yada yada. Um, but the grandparents wondered where they'd ever find ribbons. The Vermont Country Store supplied the needed ribbons, and instead of sending three, they sent six. So, you know, sounds like they're good people, and that they'll be a good source for ribbons for a long time to come. Uh, just putting that out there. Um, with What's going on here is I screwed up my Royal Futera 800. The, the blue one from 1962. So I'm making this parts unit into a good working unit as we speak. Um, I was going to show you guys how the magic mar margin works. These are the tab chips back here. So if you're, say you're setting a tab, um, well, you know how tabs work. So let's see. Alright, so if I come down here and I want to set a tab. Okay, I've set a tab, but that's nothing to do with magic margin. Magic margin is you got to hold this in, move it all the way to wherever you want it to stop, and same with that one. But it has absolutely nothing to do with the tab chips. So just in watching that, it's just kind of amazing, ain't it? I hope you guys got that in, without my head being in the way. Oh man, you guys are a million miles away from it. So, you know, there's the set chip right there, but it, it's not, it's nothing to do with uh, the magic margin, which is, I don't know, that's cool to me anyway. Um, I'll just show you like one or two other things and then I'll let you guys go. So I won this uh, on eBay, this uh, so-called 1950 Corona typewriter. And the thing with eBay, um, I don't know, you know, when you find gold, like I got this for 26 bucks. I think I was competing with a, a, um, 
and it's and it's in case and everything. You know, it's got to be like 1923, but they they thought it was a 1950. So when I found this thing, it was like 19 bucks, and I ended up competing with nothing. You know, and um, and I won it anyway. Um, let me get to. Uh, there was a point I was going to make. Oh yes, with eBay stuff that you, once you once you find something like that, you try and ditch your, uh, try and ditch your tracks. Um, look at you know, uh, flower pots and you know, toilet paper and stuff after it, so that because when you look at something on there, if you keep looking at things, pe other people will see what you've looked at, because eBay is trying to sell things. Uh, the typewriter database. If you go on there. They're a great source for information for typewriters. Um, you can buy manuals for this stuff. Like I bought the Smith Corona Electric one a while back, which is what this this is. And um, and of course, all that stuff's copyrighted. But in showing you how to what happens when you buy something from the typewriter database, not in paper format, you get it. You get it sent to you in a. Um, in a PDF file like this and then you can choose to download the product and once you've downloaded it you just uh, you can send it to pictures or uh, you can put it on more than one computer I, it gives you a couple of downloads and thankfully it does because uh, I changed computers so everything I had on my other one was lost oh I know I wanted to show you guys something too about but what happens here anyway, so when you go to downloads, um, there it is. That's that's the other one I bought, the manual typewriter repair bible. Um, and it comes up as a PDF file like that. And then you can you can if I click on it here, I should be able yeah, I could I could move it to anything I wanted to. If I wanted to move it to pictures, like I'm gonna do right now. Okay. So now somewhere in my pictures will be there it is so you can open it up under anything it's a really easy program to utilize um shut that i got i got uh, finally got a response to one of my poems too that uh, i know that's not much but to me this is exciting because i sent a poem to spilled milk that i wasn't getting any uh, good response from from other places and you know it's nice to hear them say thank you for sending us your poem traditions of poetry they even took time to quote the title of what i sent them look at that they took time it's not just a bs message they took time to type in the title of what i sent them we look forward to reading it closely because it's a labor of love of our editors we read submissions when we are available this means our response time varies a matter of days to weeks sincerely Lee Newsom, very cool. All right, everybody. That just that's just why I have a typewriter so I can type stuff and my poetry and whatever and put it out there. Got to keep submitting, right? Take care, everybody. Have a good day. And if you need something, you know, they are old school, but when I go to that other place, I'll try and record and hopefully I'll get some footage for y'all. Take care.